Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today we are going to discuss about octrotide. Octrotide is a somatostatin analog. So uh, our body produces somatostatin to inhibit other hormone secretions like growth hormone, secretins, serotonin, uh, then other agents like glucagon, insulin, TSH like that. And um, so that is the normal mechanism of action of somatostatin. So octreotide is a somatostatin analog. So it can be used in conditions like acromegaly, carcinoid tumors, VIPomas and all to in decrease the hormone secretions. And along with that, that is not an emergency use. Uh, but other than that, octreotide can be used as a um, anti-diarrheal agent and it can be used in uh, to reduce his planktonic blood flow, especially in conditions like esophageal variceal bleeding like if patient comes with an upper GI bleed because of viruses and in conditions like HRS we can use somatostatin these are so uh, in the ED we will be mainly using in conditions like HRS and uh, viruses and in the ICU uh, in cases of refractory diarrhea and all we can use somatostatin and other uh, action is uh, it can be used in um, some like conditions like sulfonylurea induced hypoglycemia and all. So um, somatostatin, uh, sorry, uh, octreotide it usually comes as a uh, injection. Uh, it is 100 microgram in 1 ml. Okay. So it can be given either intravenously or subcutaneous. So, in case of esophageal viruses, the action is that it will reduce the portal and variceal pressure and it will enhance the circulation via the splanchnic and the porta, uh, portosystemic circulation. So, portosystemic circulation uh, in, will be increased and the uh, pressure on the portal vein and the variceal vein will be reduced so that it will reduce the GI bleeding. And uh, the dose in um, viruses is... Uh, 50 microgram as an IV stat dose and we can start it as an infusion 50 microgram per hour infusion also can be started okay and if this patient is having hepatorenal syndrome we can either give as a subcutaneous dose of uh, 100 microgram TAD or it can be increased up to 200 microgram TAD or we can give as a IV infusion as we give for a variceal bleeding like 50 microgram per kg per hour sorry 50 microgram per hour infusion can be given in case of HRS okay so in varices uh, IV we have a stat dose 50 microgram then the 50 microgram per hour infusion but in case of HRS we only have an infusion dose okay 50 microgram per hour infusion and in case of uh, patients with refractory diarrhea uh, we will be giving uh, some um, octreotide and the dose is IV dosing that is 50 500 microgram so dose is slightly high 500 microgram TAD dose can be given intravenously okay so these are the doses of um, um, some octreotide uh, used in ER and other, what are the side effects of octreotide? It can cause hypertension, it can cause um, hyperglycemia because if this patient is on uh, sulfonylurea and if we are giving this medicine it can cause hyperglycemia and it will also inhibit the insulin. So it can cause hyperglycemia, hypertension will be there since it is inhibiting other hormones like TSH and all patient can go for hypothyroidism and other complications like headache and dizziness. Okay. Thank you.